Hi friends, welcome to Ufa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 17 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about row class in PySpark. So using this row class, you can create a objects for your rows in the data frame. Let me practically explain you this first. So let's go to our browser. Here I created a notebook called row notebook. And here, let me try to show you first documentation of the row class. So from PySpark dot SQL. Let's try to import row class. So row is a class actually. Let me practically show you that. So let me try to import it, and then let's try to use that class on in a help function. So let me hit Shift Enter to execute this, and you can clearly see that it's a class actually. And if I scroll down, you can see some examples also where we are creating an object from that class. So when you try to create an object from this row class. You can use these nom named arguments or you can directly pass the arguments as well. Let me practically show you what I mean by that. So let me remove all this code. So okay, so control Z, control Z, let me get that code here. And because we want to import that row, and here let's try to use this row class. And here I am passing something like Mahir and then maybe salary. So I passed two values here. And this entire code will create an object which is a row type. And that I am storing into this uh, row object. So now let's try to use a print statement. If I want to access this value, then I should use index actually. Why? Because this row class is uh, it's nothing but like an extension of a tuple. If you don't know what is tuple, please watch my Python playlist. We have explained about tuples there clearly. So since so you can think like this is like a tuple object, and these are all the items inside that tuple. So if you want to access that. You need to use a indexes so it is similar to like that only so now we have a row object if i want to access this item then what i should do i should do row of index 0 because this is first item and then let me try to concatenate here using a plus symbols with some space between and then let me hit plus again then again row of 1 so row of 1 will actually points to this value so now this is an integer but this is a string which is here so let's try to convert this also string to concatenate so all good now let me hit shift enter to execute this cell now if we clearly see it printed mahir then space then 2000 so how is how, how that magic is happening because we are using indexes here to access the items inside this object and uh, we are able to access as if we are accessing a tuple right so so that is what i mean to say now not only that can we give names for each and every item? Then answer is yes. How to do that? So here itself what I can do maybe this is name and then this is maybe like a salary property. So I can give any name actually. I am using name and salary as a properties name. Now it will create an object and that object has two properties. One is name property, another one is salary property. Using name property, I can access this value. Using salary property, I can access this value. Let me practically show you that here. Instead of using this indexes on top of row dot, I can use name. This will give this Mahir as a value. And here also, instead of using index 1 row dot, I can use salary property. Now let me hit shift enter and see what will happen. See, we are still able to access the data. Because we used a named properties when we are passing arguments to it. So if I go back to presentation, I see I shown both the examples here. See here using indexes we are accessing. And here using properties. So all these objects, whatever we create here, they will actually nothing but like a rows in a data frame only. That means these rows I can add it into data frame. Let me practically show you that. So here I created one, right? So let's name it like a row one. And then let's try to create another row called row two. And again row class and a name property equals to maybe wafa and then salary property equals to 3000 okay so now let me do one thing so we all know that right so spark keyword will give you spark session object right so and we know how to create a data frame from hard coded values using a create data frame function all this we discussed in our previous videos please watch the videos in the playlist in the same order now what i am doing it here is here we can pass data as a list here so let me do one thing so let me create a list called data and uh, let's try to add both the rows there row 1 comma row 2 then 
let me pass the data list to my create data frame function and that code will create a data frame and let me save the data frame into df variable and then df dot show now let me hit shift enter and see what will happen we should be able to see a data frame here clearly and also that data frame will have column names like mahir and salary let me practically show you that you can see here now we have a data frame also created and column names also came why how it came because this objects actually defines to rows only and these objects have named properties also so those property names will become column names automatically you can also use this df dot print schema function also to see that so when i hit shift enter you can clearly see we got a schema also clearly right so that means every row here actually nothing but like one row object actually so that is what i am trying to explain it here so let's go to the another slide here so here one more thing using this row class you can create a class also so if you closely observe here we are using row then we are supplying like name and salary here and we assign that into this person now this person will also act as a row class so for that row person in the constructor i am passing mahir and 2000 as a values so what will happen this will go and set as a value for this property this will go and set as a value for this property so that means this p1 dot name will give mahir p1 dot salary will give salary so let me practically show you that here when to make you more sense of it so what i said is so i want to create a class which is something like a row class only but i should have some customized name like person so what i will be doing is here like like a row of no and this class should have some properties like person name person age person salary something like that so i am using a property names here as a values in the row class so name and age maybe and then here what i will be doing so i want to create person one now which is object of person class so as i said person becomes class also now similar to the row class now here what i will be doing as i said i will be simply passing the items values here so i will be passing like uh, this person name is mahir and this person age is maybe uh, 30 okay and then let's try to create a person to and again this is a person will act as a class so i will be using a constructor wafa and then here age is maybe 5 okay so now if you see what happened is person is acting as a class similar to row class and this person class is created from the row, row class and this acts as a properties to it so let me practically show you that let me use print person 1 dot name and let's see let me hit shift enter to execute this code see i am able to access the name property on a person 1 object how that is happening because this person 1 is object of a person and this person has a property called name using this row class similarly i can use age also here so let me hit shift enter see i got it same way i can use person to then name property so person to right so let me use person to dot name and let me hit shift enter you can clearly see that so same way so now ultimately these are also like a row objects only so what i can do again i can do the same thing like spark dot create data frame and these objects i can pass as a list to create a data frame out of it so person 1 and person 2 let me store it into a data frame called person person df okay and then finally let's try to person df dot show so let's try to use this code here and let me hit shift enter button and see see we are able to create a data frame also successfully out of it so that means using this uh, row class we can create a similar row like classes and that classes will get a property names from the row class constructor and we can use it accordingly the same example what i shown similarly it it's written here as well so not only that using this row class you can create a nested structure type columns as well so for example if you see here it ha we have a mahir as a one column value and second column called property we are creating using a row class which is a nested type you can see here here and uh, again a tuple so let me practically write this code so that you will make sense more sense out of it so let me let's go here and let's try to create a data variable and as i said data is like a list of rows right so this time i am using a row class itself directly as i shown in the uh, presentation here so first row i am creating it so in the first row i want to have a name column uh, and value as mahir maybe okay and then 
I want to have a second column called property properties and here again it's a, it's a structure type column I bought nested structure type so here what I am doing my here's maybe age I want to have here and also maybe I want to have a gender okay so maybe gender like this okay so this from here to here it's one row right clearly now let's try to create under list of rows we need as a data object right so let's try to create another row here use slash because I want to write it in a second line so buffer and age is maybe like four gender is male now let's try to use spark dot create data frame function let's pass this data object to it and let's save the data back into a data frame called df then df dot show and also df dot print schema to see what is the data type for properties column so let me hit shift enter and let's wait for the uh, command to run here now if you clearly see we get in my name column and property column and if you see the property column type came as a structure type so if you don't know what is structure type and also what is array type what is map type everything i covered in my previous videos in the PySpark playlist so please watch them and then watch this so that's it i hope you got it right what is row class in short it's nothing but like a representation of every row in a data frame it's a row object that will come as a list and create one complete data frame for you so i hope you got an idea thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much